Do you think it's important for a Calypsonian that he composes his own material? I think so. This is why I'm in love with fellas like Kitchener, Shadow, Stalin. I have my own way. You understand? These are the fellas I take on to it. I take on to them. But these fellas like Nap and Boone, them is my personal friend. I, I know them from a long time. We stay together, show me love, I show them back. I used to have a healthy rivalry with Sparrow in the tent. I remember when Sparrow came back, as it were, after you got into his tent. It used to be war in the second half with you and Sparrow. I remember the year with Hold the Pussy, the world, you, you had the crowd going. And he didn't want me to sing it. <laughs> the manager, which is this is Sil Taylor, didn't want me to sing it neither. But a night, this is Dr. William coming to the tent. And this is Christo was the MC. And they announced me with them. You know the answer. That was the song, next song I sing with it. You know the answer. And they tell Christo to announce me with that. I tell him, announce me with holy pussy. And them tell him to announce me with this. You know the answer. So me say nothing. When the music started to play and it reached to the end for I to sing, I, I stand up. So I start to explain to the audience and say, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, but the MC make a mistake with the name of the song. The song I'm going to sing is Hold the Pussy. And from that, when I sing that song that night, I get I had to sing it about twice, but three times I had to sing it. Three times I had to sing that. What's amazing, it took you again all the way to the final. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> because at that time, they had a fella used to go wrong. But as this is Christo say, he use he as a figure. Right. And I use it as a pussy. I use him as a pussy cat and I do it that my way. Did you hear about the thief and pussy? Cap the hole up in Sandy Grandy. You can't cook and leave it at all. That pussy care does make your ball. Is one way to get a relief. So they plan one night to capture the thief. As he crawl in by my neighbor's son. And the boys, they push the cat start to run. They're running him. Hold the pussy, hold the pussy, hold the pussy cat. If you see him. Hold the pussy, hold the pussy, hold the pussy cat. Pussy running. Hold the pussy, hold the pussy, hold the pussy cat. Holy pussy, holy pussy, holy pussy cat. Nobody didn't know is a pussy cat who thief in so. So they send down to the CID for Burroughs, Rani, Bob, and Monsiki. But the CID men tell them flat is not a human friend, it's a cat. They couldn't believe the police was right until they jammed the pussy that night. They're running him. Hold the pussy, hold the pussy, hold the pussy cat. If you see him, hold the pussy, hold the pussy, hold the pussy cat. Pussy running. Hold the pussy, hold the pussy, hold the pussy cat. Hold the pussy, hold the pussy, hold the pussy cat. If you see people run out the house with knife and bull pistol, a fella they call in giveaway. Have a battle chest like Massive. He's a plaguey he long time a planning. Who whenever I catch him, the man vex till I get red. If I hold a pussy tonight, he dead, they're running him. Hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy cat. If you see him, hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy cat. Pussy running, hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy cat. Hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy, hold it, pussy cat. Well, I come
coming to one of my favorites now, Kokioko. Well, hear what happened. I was the type of fella they call how the calypso in the me die now, Spitfire, telling me that he went to St. Vincent. Now, my mother from St. Vincent. And when they want to grind cocoa in St. Vincent, they used to grind cocoa with their foot. Everybody take off their shoes and wash their foot. And they put around a cocoa and they start to sing this song. I said, what song they start to sing? And he started to sing and said, this was, it. This was the Vincentian twang. And the, the, the Vincentian song for grinding cocoa. I said, what is the name of this song? He said, a man in Kaka Crow. Kokiyoko, Kokiyoko, and, I, I, and I'm afraid of So I use it in my version. I say, well, it, and that time, all the calypso, and it's from here. But over there, it was trying to sing calypso, so this was the action. Well, refresh our minds. Last calypso season, Lord Blakey Wins and Vincent. Last calypso season, Lord Blakey Wins and Vincent. So they had a competition to crown the king Calypsonian. When they crown the Calypso king, this is the song that the fella sing. And he cry out, man in kaka crew, cookie you coo, cookie you coo, cookie you. Well, that was my version of Man in kaka crew, cookie you coo, cookie you coo. Wake up, girl, and put on your frack. Wake up, girl, you know, hey, the cock. Wake up, girl, and come out we go, a man in Kaka Crow. Well, in St. Vincent, there is a cock used to wake them in the morning. Six o'clock. So that is the Kaka Another calypso that stands out in my mind was the year that Sparrow lost to Dougla, and you made a calypso called Sparrow Loss. Tell us about that. No, it's a funny thing, but I was in the Savannah that year, and he sing on Dougla, and I sat around and said, why are you sing on the man? The man is a Calypsonian like yourself. But when Bomber come and win him now, I was, that was my time. The Calypso, I'm gone. What a tragic moment. When he recover, he start a ball. When he go this is decision, he get giddy, faint and fall. Was the competition for the Calypso king. You know the bull faced Grenadian sparrow really thought he'd win. <laughs> I could talk because I ain't care. He get a lick in fear. Was up in Savannah. He get licks by the mighty bomber. Who wasn't there could I hear. And who was there could I see. So he could walk about no one tell the public again. They rub him with me. <laughs> you have to take that eh? But the part of the Calypso I like is, um, this part, um, he shouldn't get on so. Mama, you sparrow start to cry. It's I should have be angry. And friends, I won't tell you why. Like Trinidad, I've no Calypsonian. A vex still a blue man, a turn back red. They take the crown from one Grenadian and put it on the next one head. But my is a Grenadian, you know, even, even, uh, you tell me now. It's a kind of mama guy thing I make in joke, but they had to take that. Eh? All of us is friends, and I, I find everybody should take the little mama guy. Now, your career started in the 50s 1954. and 54. Now, I remember, I think it was early 70s, around 73, there was a controversy where you and Kitch decided you're not going to the Savannah. Can you recall that year? Yes, I can't remember what song I sing, but what happened? I noticed that the, the CD, that time was CDC, not CNC. NCC. Not NCC, sorry. It was CDC, Carnival Development Committee. They want to pick who they want. But they used to have me, Bomber, and Killer picking the Calypsonian. And I find that wasn't right. You understand? So. You refuse to? Yes, I refuse. I say, look, me ain't going nowhere. I don't know that. Give them younger fellas a chance. Records show that the last year that you made it to the finals of the Dimash was 1976. Can you tell us, shed some light on that? Boy, I can't. What is this thing that year? 
what it is. I don't remember what, what, the, what it is a thing that you at all, you know, I can't remember. All right, I want you to tell me now, if in retrospect, looking back at your Calypso career, from the years that you sang with Sparrow's Tent and then the year when you opened your own Victory Calypso Tent, tell us about those years. Oh, well, um, I think, I think I had the people under control because um, I was a laughing Calypsonian and I make fun all the time with the audience because I figured that if a fellow leave his home to come out to listen to Calypso, he come to enjoy himself or to ease off some of the worries, if he have any, at his home to come to relax in it. And so when I sing, I make a fun of it. I make you laugh because this is what my head is. This is what my head in Calypso to make the man who come to the tent enjoy himself. A lot of the Calypsonians to credit you as a person who gave them a break, people like Rio, and um, I remember Valentino sang at the Victory Tent also, and I remember you singing as many as four tunes on a night when the crowd wanted you. Yeah, if I give a joke, it may sound like, I even give Sparrow the break. That time they had Dirty Jim in Sauke, and the two people was running Dirty Jim was this is Sagalba and Skipper. Skipper is in some way in St. Croix you now. And I carry Sparrow there. And I say, I, I call them, me and Sparrow coming up the Isle Center aisle. And when the two of them reached me close, we reached close to one another, I say, I'm here now. There's a young Calypsonian, you know, you want to get in the tent to sing. And Skipper turned to me and say, I'm the tent full. And he and this is Sagalba turn away and keep walking back up the center parks. So when they reach about 15 yards away from me, I turn and say, I'm Sagalba. He is a Grenadian like you, you know. And he come back to Sagalba, walk back down and say, I'm point as far and say, You singing, come later. You hear that? Mm -hmm. You hear that? Do you still compose calypsos? All the time. The last calypso I composed is a, a calypso I, I do uh, last week. Um, because um, I figure that Sunday night, that competition they had Sunday night wasn't right. They didn't judge it right. Although they give the boss, because I say Sparrow is the boss, I say that. But I find they didn't do it right. So I compose a calypso on it. So you look forward to that in 93 then? You will get that. In 93? Definitely, because I, I definitely I want to sing either with, I would like to sing with Kitchener or Shadow. Any one of them two tents, because there's four new tents going to open this season. I see it in the papers. And you have to be in one. I have to be in one. Looking back on your career, what has been the high point or your finest moment? The first year. 1954. <laughs> because here, yeah, for I to go on that stage, it's so why I started drinking, drink alcohol. Because for I to go on that stage, I was so scared. This is spoiler. Pour a drink in a glass that tall and say, take a drink. And this is the only how I could have sing to the public. I have to mix up my head to sing. To get in the right mood. Get in the right, that's right, that's the word. <laughs> to get in the right mood to sing to the audience. I warn in everybody. So listen to Lord Blakey. Sukni has start back again. From my arrow to Port of Spain. I warn in all bachelor women to be careful of them. I nearly died with fright. They catch one sucking me neighbor last night. She start bawling. Murder police. Me neighbor start bawling. Murder police. Everyone came running. Murder police. Bring the barrel attack. Neighbor, all you come here quick. Look a hole as you come After the back and all over. I went next door by my neighbor. She started to explain. Neighbor Blakey, I was feeling shame. Cause I had on a short merino and I forgot to lock the door. He crawled in and hold up my two foot so. And I went to suck me a go to start falling. <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome back to Calypso Showcase. Well, you know, one thing is missing from that video. We couldn't present you Lord Blakey the way he used to be. But we kept digging and we found this little something from 1981. Lord Blakey singing a tune called Jubalse. A long time ago on the shelf I stay with my friends and family I cool in myself Don't know what I do them But they giving me problem They testing me faith So let me warn them before it's too late So I warn them I really don't want no trouble That's what you will say I see both my wife and children Every blessed day I taking things easy They keep on pushing me I can't take no more, so if they tackle to Bali's war. <laughs> they will be long. They will be long. They will be long. Not too long ago, this happened. Friends at night are weep. My deceased father, Kaye, come to me in my sleep. He tell me, Matt, take it easy. Son, don't take on nobody. But in your mind, stamp it out. You have a family to see about, so I warn them. I really don't want no trouble. That's what you will say. I see both my wife and children every blessed day. I take in things easy, but they keep on pushing me. When I can't take no more, tell them. Walsh <laughs> This I got to mention, day and night is for occasion. Look, no cause, no mess. Leave this sleeping tiger to rest, so I warn them. I really don't want no trouble, that's what you will say. I see both my wife and children every blessed day. Them who play in bosses, my recreation is horses. And me playing bad, but I could give them the hardest hard. <laughs> Yes, Blakey, that's your jogging memory. <laughs> Who is Jubal? Jubal is a fellow living in San Juan, El Chico side. His father, the name Taib, he used to sell ice right at the, in the crazy opposite the, um, the post office. Short gentleman, always very broad hearted. I know all you are going to say that a lie, but believe me, friends, I see this with my eye. I wouldn't lie for all you for no reason. Believe me, friends, I see this thing happen. Man, I live in home by my mother. She stew meat and she leave it there for my father. Take a heater and cover it down. That was my father, then when he come, a rat climb up and take down the iron and the cover and he gone down inside the meat. <laughs> He climb out and put back the iron and the cover the same way when he finish eat. Corn in the bath went and bed as he finished. If a life went cut off my head, cross in the road for a towel to dry skin, a car bounce him and kill him dead. <laughs> the best part of this calypso is um, why, why, we have, why people don't believe me at all. How you could say I lying from since a small? Well, all you will have to say that I lie. Anything happen me, I'm going to close my eye. But we're on the, on the wharf, some fellas gambling. Police make a raid, every man start running. One can run, jump over Buddha's man. Police behind him, so he leave his shoes on the land. Here we happen. 
swimming through the bookers, the police getting tired, so he started to talk to him. You could have saved all this trouble by letting me arrest you around home like everybody. Then what you think I'm doing, but you still following, is home I going, sir. The police say, don't talk stupidness. He say, Basai from Grenada. That means he's swimming home. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Well, we have a little special. The guy who asked about the last verse in Maria, it's on cue. This thing in my mind I want to say it all the time is that thing that have me so. All over the night she that wake me for spite for what I really don't know. And I can't make no fuss cause it's my face go bust so you see the position, friend. But the old people have a talk, they just say the longest soap of fun and have me falling. Maria, girl I love you so bad. Maria, if you leave me now, will be hard. Me granny, she turn wrong and tell me, Chau cafe kapui, he's all maka well winning. <laughs> <laughs> I put in my shell a long time I go down the shelf I stay with my friends and family I cool in myself Don't know what I do them But they giving me problem They testing me faith So let me warn them before it's too late So I warn them I really don't want no trouble That's what you will say I see about my wife and children Every blessed day I taking things easy they keep on pushing me, I can't take no more. So if they tackle to Bali's war. <laughs> Tell a bilam. Tibidibidibi tom pom pom. <laughs> Not too long ago, this happened. Friends at night are weep. Me this is father, Kaye, come to me in my sleep. He tell me, Matt, take it easy. Son, don't take on nobody. But in your mind, stamp it out. You have a family to see about, so I warn them. I really don't want no trouble. That's what you will say. I see both me wife and children every blessed day. I take him things easy, but they keep on pushing me. When I can't take no more, tell them. I'll say it's war. Say, lo di doi. Debi libi libi tom pom pom. 